This program is a presentation of UCTV for educational and non-commercial use only. My name is Kyle Funk. I work for Walt Canning here at Hastings. We're studying the reproductive ecology of valley oaks and we're sitting here under a valley oak that has a bunch of catkins out and uh, should be dehissing pollen into the wind willy-nilly soon. <laughs> we're trying to understand oak tree reproduction more thoroughly. In most years they won't produce very many acorns at all but in some years they'll have these huge bumper crops of acorns and those years are called mast years. The question of how masting occurs is important for conservation of valley oaks, which are not regenerating fast enough to replace themselves. So this is the phenology survey. Um, phenology means timing of life history traits. I visit each tree in our population once a week. I have a good look at it through the binoculars. I see what proportion of the buds have opened up, if catkins have come out, and how many, and kind of what stage they are in uh, releasing pollen to the wind. Here's a kind of a group of catkins. Each one hanging down is a catkin, and these are the male flowers of the tree. You can see that dust coming out, and that's all pollen. So each tree produces both male and female flowers. All right, so these are two valley oak female flowers right next to each other. And these turn into acorns once they're pollinated. So some pollen grains have to reach the little axle of these leaves and pollinate these flowers. Yeah, Ooh, here's some nice female flowers. Another part of the project is we operate these things called pollen traps. And um, we put it up on a hill so it would be in a windy area. It sucks in air at uh, 10 liters per minute. And so everything that's in the air gets impacted onto this adhesive on this wheel. We try to do this quickly because the time when we're changing out, we're not collecting data. These get chopped up into 24 hour portions and turn them into a bunch of slides that are later analyzed. And this is telling us how much pollen is in the air and when are there peaks in pollen abundance? And so it's all related to oak tree reproduction. Here we go. So Walt and his collaborators have been collecting data on acorn production for a really long time. So they have, they have this massive data set and so far the data suggests that when the trees release pollen into the air relatively synchronously, that leads to a good acorn year. We're not sure at, at what level these trees are not uh, reproducing themselves or why. Their theory is that it's herbivores that are making it harder for them to establish themselves. But it's important to understand all aspects of the process. The more we know about their reproduction, the better we can conserve this habitat. Mm-hmm. <laughs>